Hey guys, welcome to my first stripper vlog. So I'm just priming my face right now. I'm about to do some makeup. I'm not sure how I'm going to structure this video, but I think I'm going to do a come to work with me video. But I just woke up, it's a 10, 18, and I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw that there's this new strip club that's opening in Vegas. And they're opening next week, I believe, but it looks like they already did their auditions. Everything is set and ready to go. But I thought I would take a shot and DM them and see if they were still looking for girls. And they were, but the lady said, I have to be there at 12 to audition and it's 10, 18 now. I literally just woke up. Um, I feel like 12 is kind of early for an audition, but maybe because they're just opening next week, you know, they're trying to get like everything in order, but you know, it is what it is. So it's like, I have to do a full face of makeup, then come home, wash it off and go to the gym and then go about my day and then later redo makeup. So I'm just doing my face literally just for this audition, you know, cause you want to show up in your bad B your baddest form so that's what i have to do but i'm really excited i've been looking for a new club to audition at so i hope that they like me i didn't really spend much time on it i just kind of saw that like a new club was opening it looked like the promotion and stuff was good a couple girls i was following was already following them and i just found out about them so i think it should be good um let's see gotta wait for the primer to dry so i used to dance before i mean well yeah I, it's not my first time dancing i should say i took a long break from stripping and recently i just got back into it and i'm really excited because i feel like now i'm stripping with intention or purpose whereas before i would just go in and make a lot of money and use that money on like traveling or experiences, which I don't regret because that was pre-pandemic time. So I was, you know, moving and traveling freely internationally and I cherish those moments. You know, you never know what's gonna happen in the world. But now there's a lot of things I wanna take care of. And now I'm just like going into work with the intention of like, okay, the money I make you know, today or this month is going towards paying off my car or going towards, you know, I don't know, getting a boob job or surgery or something. I'm just having a little bit more intention with why I'm going into work, but I'm going to pause this video, hurry up and do my makeup, hop back on, show you guys the transformation and take you guys to audition with me. So BRB. So I just finished my makeup. This is the finished look. It's 11.08, so I have to quickly straighten my hair and get out of this house. I didn't even, I probably should have checked to see how far away this club was, but I was in such a rush just trying to get, you know, everything situated and shower and all that that I didn't. So I'm really hoping it's not super far because I don't got a lot of time and I don't want to be late. So I'm gonna rush in, straighten my hair, and then I'll show you guys the final look. So. Okay, all finished. I really need to get a new hairstyle. I miss just showing my forehead and my eyebrows. And also like you can see my natural hair a little bit underneath this so it's definitely time for a new do but your girl is still looking cute long as no one is looking too closely at my head but okay everything is plugged off turn the ac off <clears throat> okay i'm doing good on time it's 11 18 I wish I had time to eat something because my stomach does not feel right right now. But since I'm already dolled up, I think after this audition, I'm gonna go to a cafe and sit and read. Sit and read for a bit. Dang, one of my, my lashes like coming off. Okay. 
All right, let me stop messing around and hop in this car. Okay, guys, so I just finished my audition and I did get hired. I'm really excited for this club, guys. Like, it just feels like one of those, like, family type, like, clubs, you know, like the bond. Like, everything seems so professional. Everyone was so welcome and, like, inviting even the girls that were doing their paperwork and auditioning with me. Just a conversation. Everything was flowing. Everyone was friendly. There was actually a girl there that used to live in Portland. Like, I just moved from Portland a couple months ago. I used to live there for, like, four to five years. So, me and her really, like, vibed and bond. Like, the management, like, everything seems really cool. So, I am excited. That just gave me a little bit of, like, motivation to, like, you know, go ahead and get cute like definitely need to go and get some like new hair get my nails done get some lashes because these just keep coming off but just wanted to share that little bit with you guys i did stay there a little bit longer playing around with the pole and the hoops with some of the girls um so energy is mad high right now i'm gonna go to a cafe and read my book or maybe i'll go home and cook i'm not sure yet but I definitely need to read for at least two hours today because I'm on a whole, I wanna, I'm on this whole like reading more books thing right now. So I wanna read four books a month and yesterday I just finished one book. So today I'm starting a new book, but that is it for now. I'll check in with you guys later, give you guys an update. So, yep. So, update my day did not go according to plan i went to yard house got food went home thought i was gonna take a nap and go to the gym and then go to work plot twist i took a nap and i slept for like 10 hours <laughs> i went to bed at like three in the afternoon woke up at like one something a.m it's now 3 22 um and I'm just now about to go to work. Since I just woke up, I'm getting me a Red Bull. Hopefully the club is litty because I need a big bag tonight. I need some litty energy. But that's pretty much what it is. I, I don't know what's going on with me. I feel like lately my naps have been something serious. Like I've been napping for 10 hours. Obviously my body really needs it, but... I don't know if it's because I'm doing like a 30 day detox. So maybe it's just like making me more tired or if it's the weather or a combination. Mm. But this gonna get me right. If you do drink Red Bull, let me know what's your favorite flavor. I'm trying the dragon fruit today. I've been on this like heavy for a solid week now. I used to love the tropical one and the blueberry one. But let me know what's your favorite flavor. What's your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor. What's your flavor? <laughs> okay, let's go. So I am off of work and it was a cool night. It was... You know, when I by the time I was dressed and ready and on the floor, it was like 4 a.m. and it was dead. Like it was deady. It was dead. But you know, my motto, motto, my motto, is that it only takes one person to make your night. So I'm the type of person that, where it's like even if it's dead, like I'm gonna stay there until like something shake. You know, because like I'm I'm gonna get lucky. And it was one of those nights. It was a night where all the money I made was off of one customer. And it was a customer that's been there for a couple of hours. So he was already spending money. And then when we met, we did a room, then we did another one. And I went to the bathroom and this girl was talking to him. But you know, I still came over because like, I was just spending hours with him, like that's my customer. And it was cool, you know, we all hung out and then we all did a room together and at that point I was like okay I made my money like I'm gonna go so it was cool um I'm starving though like I am on my way to the grocery store about to get something and cook and 
I made it to day five of no alcohol, so I'm really proud of myself. Like, I love those nights where I made money and I'm also coming home sober. Like, it feels so good to just be sober and not have to worry about being hungover, not worried about being tired. You know, like, I feel good. I think I'm probably going to cook and then go to the gym and, you know, go from there. But I feel good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a money count just yet. Maybe after I eat, um, if I don't forget. But, yeah, guys, so it was it was a cool night. It was a cool night for go getting there so late. Since I slept all day and all night yesterday and I'm up, I really hope I don't just, like, pass out in like the later evening and wake up you know in the early morning again because I want to get in early today like I want to put in like some work and it's the weekend so the club that I work at does like after hours as well um, but that's it for now okay. bye guys hey guys a good morning so I did it again. I fell asleep in the afternoon and slept for 10 hours. It's now 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, I woke up at 2.30 something in the morning, but I just kind of decided I wasn't going to like rush and try to get ready and go to work. Um, the club is 24 hours and there is afters today. And the afters did just start an hour ago, but I feel like maybe I should just take this time to clean my apartment, cook food for tomorrow, and get out tomorrow strong. So I'm gonna do a little money count for you guys. So this is last night's bag. And my big bills are kinda already separated. So let's see. One, two, I have to have all my bills facing the same way. Like it just it just makes me feel good and organized. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thousand. So this is 1100 plus 20, it's 1120. I feel like this is 100 or close to 100. I'm gonna try to count it real fast. So this is 40 in my hands, plus this 20, plus this 20. So this is 80. So this is 90. And then I have the $3 left over. So $93 and half of a dollar bill, a rip dollar. But I like to use these for my bookmark. So that's what that's gonna be for. So, yeah. So I made $1,213 last night. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was my first stripper vlog. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.